Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to our channel. Uh, this is the next episode, and if you're new to our channel, welcome. Hi, I'm Jeff from Intergalactic Toys, and today we have a special treat for you. Uh, it is courtesy of Lucky Doug Toys, and uh, you're looking at it right here. It is the Flying Scotsman Train. All right, so uh, this is a toy build episode that we're doing today. Now we're gonna go ahead and build this train for you. Uh, we're gonna do it step by step. And uh, let's see, let's, is, is, on the box it says it's for ages six and up, but it's actually for ages eight and up. It retails for $25.99 on Amazon. Um, and it, is, it has 340 pieces. It is of metal construction, stainless steel. And the other thing to note about it, uh, let's see, it's dimensions I wrote down here. Uh, it is 16 inches when it's built. It's 16 inches long uh, by two inches wide. Uh, and three and a half inches tall. Okay, and it does come with its own uh, toolkit for you uh, So you don't have to go out and buy anything uh, as well All right, here we go. Now one thing I forgot to mention is uh, if you uh, have any questions you can go to uh, Lucky Doug's Facebook website, which I will post in the description uh, And that way you can ask any questions one thing I mentioned is, is uh, we like to lay it out uh, to inspect uh, make sure that everything is all the parts are here uh, but also uh, that the uh, parts are in good condition and then lastly uh, what it makes it easier for for me when I do builds that I can actually scout out parts when they're all laid out like this
Okay, so everyone, so we are finally finished with this train, um, and you know what, I'll tell you what, you definitely want to go by the instructions, you want to lay it out uh, like we did, um, you definitely need the tools, this is a magnetic screwdriver just to let you know, and you got the wrench, you're going to need both sides of the wrench, believe it or not, to get in there. Um, now, I have much bigger fingers than children, so uh, getting in here and basically what you're doing uh, for this project is you're taking the nut and the bolt and you're going to be you know twisting it um, in the given areas okay so if you had smaller fingers that would be um, easier I'm sure to work on uh, but even then you still want to plan this out you want to go step by step um, sometimes you are going to have to feel I can tell you this right now you're going to have to feel around you're going to have to push this try to push it on as best you can uh, it center it and a lot of times you get lucky and you can just Go ahead and take the screwdriver or your fingers, I use my fingers a lot, and twin it, twist and turn them. Um, and then, if you have to, you can use the wrench and the screwdriver to kind of finish it. Um, I would, do want to say that this train is bendable. So it's metal, but it's, uh, it's stainless steel, but it's lighter gauge. You probably notice that as we're going along because there's a couple pieces you have to bend. Um, but, you know, the, it, it kind of works out for you. You can, uh, you can move pieces to the side sometimes when you're 
tightening uh, some of the nuts and bolts and that helps out a lot as well. Um, okay, so uh, here's how it came out. So you can see, uh, the one thing I did forget um, was right here, which I'm gonna go ahead and put in later. This little piece right here, which goes up top behind here on this engine, it goes right there. Apologize for that. I'll have to take the lid back off here, the front piece, and then put that through uh, and then put that back on, uh, which I probably will do. Go ahead and just have it complete. Now, just a note, there were extra pieces that give you some extra, plenty of extra nuts and bolts, which is great. And you can see, I didn't hook up the train, but you can. It's basically just fits right through there. You could probably go ahead and put a one of the uh, washers in there if you want to. Uh, okay, so yes, so this was um, challenging. Uh, even for myself, uh, but definitely fun. Uh, take your time. My words of advice would be to take your time with it. Uh, and for children who maybe um, you know haven't done this, uh, and especially younger ones, adult supervision would be I would recommend to go ahead, especially in certain key areas. They might have a question on how to do something. Uh, most of it is just tightening, but it's again, it's getting your fingers into certain areas, and of course, doing things uh, in a certain. Uh, order. Um, and you know what? Sometimes the instructions aren't always perfect. Sometimes you can go ahead and figure out other ways. Uh, there was a couple times in here where I was able to, you know, take off this lid, um, which it doesn't show you, to get to some of the screws that were up front here to be able to put my finger on there and tighten. Uh, comments or questions about the build, uh, definitely send them my way uh, and I will try to get back to you. Um, and let you know what I did. Um, and also, I just want to thank you uh, for taking the time out and watching this video. I hope it helps. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.